So what I'm going to demo here is how I would go about implementing transfer learning in PyTorch. So I've already got some code ready for us to get started with. And what it looks like is I've got a function for training a model from a data loader, which I've collapsed so you can't see it. I've got a function for computer accuracy, given a model and a data set and a data loader. And then I've got a model class up here, which I'm going to use to classify between images of dogs and images of hot dogs, which I've got in a data set, which I made. And then down here, I'm going to train that model and then I'm going to calculate the accuracy. So my data set looks like this. Images of dogs. Images of hot dogs. And I could pretty easily train a model from scratch to do the classification. But the kind of features which are going to be useful for classification in this problem are probably a lot of the same features which have been learned by other models which have already been trained and I can pull off the shelf. So what I want to do is take a pre-trained model use the parameters for that as a starting point, and then fine tune it. So transfer learning really consists of three main steps. Firstly, get the pre-trained model from somewhere. Secondly, change the architecture of your model so it fits your problem. And then thirdly, fine tune the model for your problem. So pretty much all I'm gonna to need to do is implement this class. So to start with the first step, I need to go and get a model from somewhere. I can find all kinds of models on Torch Hub. And what I want to look for here is a model which I can use as a starting point. A good one to go with is ResNet50. This is a 50 layer deep convolutional neural network which has been trained to do a thousand way classification on the ImageNet dataset. Scroll down and I can see the examples, it's very easy to use. I'm going to copy that in and that's going to be part of my model. So here I've got this ResNet and I'll specify that it comes pre-trained. So that's the first step, get the pre-trained model. The second step is to change the architecture so that it fits your problem. Like I said, I know that this model has been trained on ImageNet for a thousand way classification. So that means the output is going to be a thousand dimensional vector. So what I want to do is replace that final layer of the model so that it has the same output size as my problem needs. So in my case, I'm doing a binary classification, which means I just need one output node. And that's going to be the probability of an example being a hot dog rather than a dog. So how would I go about changing the architecture of this model? This part, confuses a lot of people. They don't know where to go from here. But you know you've got the model, so just probe around a bit. And one way you can do that is by printing all of the attributes and methods of the model using Python's built-in dir method. So if I run that, then I can see all of the methods and attributes that this model has. And if you scan through it, you'll start to see some interesting stuff that you might recognize. So for example, conv1, that's a convolutional layer. So I know that I should be able to find other layers of the model in here. And what I'm looking for is the final output layer. So I can see a number of different things like fully connected or batch normalization, which are probably layers as well, but I don't know the actual architecture of this model yet. It's probably written somewhere in the docs, but I did notice there's a useful attribute here and that is modules. Modules sound interesting because I know PyTorch calls every layer a module. So what if I print ResNet50.modules? Now it prints me this. And that, as you can tell, is the architecture of the network. You can see all the different layers from start to finish. And at the end, you can see this one FC. So what that means is that this model is a bunch of convolutional layers, and then finally a fully connected layer. That fully connected layer goes from 2048 inputs to 1000 outputs. And that 1000 outputs makes sense because that's 1000 different probabilities for each of the classes in the ImageNet dataset, which this model has been pre-trained on. So my job now is to replace that final layer. I need to replace it with something that's the right shape for my problem. And I saw that FC was an attribute of the model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the FC attribute with a linear layer. And that's going to go from the same input shape to just one output node in my case. And now I should just be able to pass data through this whole thing. So I've defined my layers and now I just need to implement the forward method where I pass my data through that ResNet. To do that, I'll make it an attribute of the class. Now let's see what happens. Nice, it looks like I got somewhere. I got a new error, which I can fix now. 
So the error is on line 24, where I'm trying to compute the binary cross entropy loss. He says, using a target size torch 10, that's different to the input size, torch 10, one is deprecated. Make sure they've got the same size. Let's quickly check what's going on there. I'll print the shape of those two things. So I can see that the shape of the predictions is 10, one, and the shape of the labels is 10. So they need to be the same size. To do that, I need to basically add a dimension of size one in the zero, one, the first position of the labels. To do that, I basically need to unsqueeze that dimension. And then if I print the label shape, they got the same size. Now I get a different error, which says found D-type long but expected float. This is happening again in the same place. So now it's not the shape of this problem, it's the data type. So let's take a look at, that, at the data type for each of those tensors. I can see that the predictions are a float and the labels are an int. So I just need to change this labels into a float. Now I'll run that again. Looks good, they're the right data type this time. So what's the problem now? So now I get an error and it says all elements of the input should be between zero and one. And this is back to the fact that I need to change my architecture just a little bit more. And the problem here is that because I'm using the binary cross entropy loss, this expects a probability as a prediction. But the way that this ResNet model was trained was that it actually output the unnormalized probability distribution the kind of thing that would go into a softmax or into a sigmoid. This final layer is just a linear layer. It's outputting any real numbers. It's not outputting necessarily a probability in the range zero to one. So what I want to do is then pass that through a sigmoid to get a probability value. And to do that, I can just use the sigmoid inside torch.n.functional, which I've imported as f. And that should do the trick. Nice, it seems to be running. But the accuracy doesn't seem to be getting any better. So let's explore why that might be happening. Firstly, let me just print the raw loss and see if that's going down. I'm gonna remove those data type prints. Hmm, so something strange is happening. It seemed to be going down and then it jumped back up a few times. Let's firstly just try the easy stuff and try and train it for a little bit longer, see what happens. So I just tried reducing the learning rate and that will help this training be a bit more gradual. And you can see there that I got a pretty steady decrease in the loss to go from 30% to 90% in about 30 seconds. So that is transfer learning.